Boom. All right, everybody, everybody, everybody. Welcome to the After Dark with Malcolm and Lisa show. We got, we getting it in tonight again for the underground. Oh, yeah. It's all about the underground tonight. It's all about an underground independent music artist. It's all about an underground independent production company tonight. Bari. Introduce yourself right quick, man, to our listening audience, man, before we kick this damn thing off, man. What's good, man? How y'all doing out there, world? It's Bari, B-X-R-I. That's how you spell it. Straight from Mississippi. You know what I'm saying? I moved out here to Houston about, let me say, about 15 years ago. I've been doing music, poetry since I was a kid, man. I want to tell show in the fifth grade. One of my best friends. Uh, I really started this, uh, this shit on uh, Bird Nation, man. just the years of just growing, going through things and just wanting to put that put that down, you know, so people can relate to it. Uh, man, I got a lot of, a lot of guys watching right now. Uh, shout out LTB, shout out McGain, shout out G.O.D., shout out Rich, shout out my boy Zuba, shout out all the independent artists out here doing their thing, man. It's hard out here, you know, just trying to come up, you know, doing your thing. Just stay creative, man. You know, it ain't always about, uh, always about the shine, always about the fame. It's about staying true to you, and staying true to you is, is always what people want, man. All the time. They, Say that again, man. You know, staying true to you is what people want all the time. It ain't about what's on you, it's about what's in you. You know what I'm saying? And that's just being real. Uh, my production company, I just really got my LLC in April. Uh, I've been having these ideas that I want to just bring to life and bring to fruition uh, over the last two to three years. It's, it's been a long time. You know, I had some friends that, uh, you, know, it, you know, things... Things didn't work out the way I go, the way it go. so you know, God take and move take things from your life and put better things in your life. You may not know what it's for at that time when he take it, but it's always for a reason. You just gotta believe and set your eyes out to do things. But GLLD Productions is gold over life's demons, productions, LLC. Uh, it's basically the music. We got a studio going, got that set up. Uh, it's a home studio, we wanna grow. We got a cameraman that wanna grow, Jay Real with the cam. 18 years old, uh, he said he ain't thinking about school, he thinking about this. You know what I'm saying? And, and people people like that, you want to be around. Already got his heart and mind Already ready at a young heart. age. Yeah, at a young age. He might not have everything he need, but that's why we that's why we out here striving. You know, that's why we out here working right now. That's why I'm in here. I so saw your whole team can eat. Yeah, so my whole team can eat. All the time, you know, man. CO's Love it, last. man. CEO, he last. The boss, he last. Big Say it again. He last. Big dogs, he last. Big dogs eat last. Little dogs eat fruit. Nah, it ain't about little dogs. We all big dogs. You know what I'm saying? We all big dogs. Don't get me wrong. Okay. But I'm just, I'm just, I just want them boys to know that I ain't scared to take the lead. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So it ain't about nobody following. It's just about a real, somebody being a real leader. We ain't got no real leaders that no. follow out here nine days. Man, no. it's all about uh, an image. You know what I'm saying? And something to please somebody's eyes, but, you know. Right, right, right. I totally agree with you on that, man. It ain't a bunch of leaders out here, man. And then when you do try to lead, they chop you up. They chop you up and try to spit you out. That's how it be. And you got to be ready for things like that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because only the real, you know, the real shit going to last. And only the real, the real eyes going to be able to see it. It's always about the power of the eyes. Right. You know what I'm saying? Love it, love it, love it. We are speaking with Barry. Barry, am I saying that right? Barry. 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 I want to know how you got this spelling on that name, on man. Because that's why I asked uh, you when you first got here, how do I say your name, man? Because uh, <laughs> the spelling does not a, say that's an Barry. That's question, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I X'd out the A. Uh, it don't have a real meaning, but my real name is Jabari. The meaning of that name is brave, courageous, fearless. Brave, yeah. courageous, fearless. Yes, sir. And, you know, that's just a short... Shorting down my name, Barry. Everybody called me Barry from aunts, uncles, close friends. Everybody that know me called me Barry. I don't really know nobody that called me Jabari unless it's a problem. <laughs> unless it's a problem. Unless it's a problem. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Mississippi, he comes all the way from Mississippi, y'all. Yes, He's sir. been in Texas about 15 years. We are speaking with Barry tonight. He's an independent music artist in his, in Houston now. I'm going to call you a Houstonian now, man. Oh, yeah, You've been out of the MISS <laughs> for a minute, man, yeah. for a minute. Uh, hopefully, we've, we've opened our arms to you, and you feel welcome, and you feel at home now, man. 
Um, Bari has his own production company. Tell us a little bit about that, man. You, you started out as a as an artist, or did you start out producing music? Which one? Uh, I haven't started really just getting down in depth with producing music. You know, I have done some little loops and little samples of my own. I haven't just really got down into the nitty gritty with it. Okay. But uh, I started as an artist, just basically this year really getting my feet wet with the visuals and the whole uh, artistic wave. I started back on SoundCloud about 2014, 2015. Started out with uh, G Major. Shout out G Major. Got beats. Dot com, you know what I'm saying? Uh, get them for the beats, get them at, uh, at the studio, the purple room. Uh, it was all love there, that's my boy. Uh, he brought me a studio uh, with my dog, you know, Scooby. He's he out of uh, New Orleans. He out here in Houston now doing his thing, so we got the tape to him. Uh, but yeah, I started out, you know, really, really low key, just doing stuff on SoundCloud, dropping that, and then once I found how to get the, you know, just get it all on, all on uh, Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, just things like that, you know, just learning and just learning like that and going, I'm able to just flourish in my own way, in my own path. So I'm grateful for that. When did you start? When you first got to Houston or before you got to Houston? Uh, before I got to Houston, I started, like I said, uh, uh, I first did a talent show uh, in like fourth or fifth grade with my homie Save Me Young. Uh, his rapper alias name is uh, Kick Go Save uh, it's one of my best friends to this day. Uh, we did a talent show. We got second place. Some girls went and dancing. You know, they dancing. They like that. Right. You know, it's cool. But we got second place in the talent show, rapping about the curriculum test. So we wrote some lines about the curriculum test when I out there and did what we had to do. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? We started off on uh, the Verb Nation. Basically, I hit a, like, a studio too in, in Newton. That's where I'm from, Newton, Mississippi. I hit a couple studios there, you know what I'm saying? But that was... I was young, you know what I'm saying, young, young, fresh, you know what I'm saying, but I love, I love the game, you know, I love, like, my uh, artist then was Lil Wayne, I listened to Eminem, you know, I was coming up on some R&B, like Chris Brown, uh, Jamie Foxx, Usher, uh, there was a lot of guys coming out, uh, you know, they used to drop the mega mixes, remixes of things like that, you know, with Shotty Low and all them boys, you know, Cool Cat, or whatever you want to say, but you know what I'm saying, I come from the, I come from, I'm a 90s baby, so I come from the, I can't say, nah, yeah, I can say it, the real rap. You know what I'm saying? Say it. No copycats, no gimmicks. Say it, gimmicks. man. This is what we're giving. We're pushing who we are. Right. If you can't accept us who we are, you can keep moving. What, what, do you, what do you define as real rap? What do I find as real rap? Mm -hmm. Nothing you can't fake. Nothing you can't fake. Like what, what am I faking? I'm sitting here in a t-shirt. I ain't got no diamonds on. Right. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I last thing I, let me see, I, 2000, I was hearing diamonds was a girl's best friend. <laughs> so I ain't gonna allow me to stand on that. I want things too. I ain't gonna sit here and cap like I don't want fast cars, bunch of cars, you know what I'm saying? Right. Big houses, things like that. That's, that's shit that comes with hard work and determination. So, hey. basically, real rap is just giving it to the people how it is without, without telling a lie or, you know, falsifying who you are, falsifying what's in your pocket, falsifying what you do on a daily basis. It ain't all about who got this, who got that. Right. When you get into doing all that, that's when it becomes fake to you, correct? When you get into talking about you got this, you got that, and you really ain't got all this and all that. Like, it's people that got it. There's people that don't. But the thing about it is, it's people that, that in society, in, in my class, uh, middle class, low class, poor, that don't have it. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So how can a person that don't have anything relate to a person who's saying they got all this, they killing niggas, and they doing this in part of my language, but they doing this and that. And gotcha. Hurt, you know what gotcha. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, my, my homie, I listen to it. I ain't going to be a hypocrite and say I don't listen to music like that. But at the same time, it's just some music to give give a man energy. And what type of energy is it? Negative? Negative. It positive? What type of motivation is that? Yes, Especially sir. when we think about it, this for the kids. Right, right, you know what right. I'm like I was a kid listening to Wayne. I was a kid what, listening to these artists. What kind of influence are what we? What kind being? of influence am I am I passing down? So when you see a lot of stuff on TV and you hear a lot of stuff in the music, you gotta you gotta base that off what you used to see as a kid and what and, and it's like the Matrix. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's changed. It's like a program. So you gotta see how you know things are being programmed, especially for the kids. That's important because. Whatever they see and whatever they hear and whatever they are doing is going to affect us in the future. Yes, because sir. That's what we have. That's, those are future leaders. Those are those are the next generation mm -hmm. passed down. So and we're and we're like and we're molding them 
with music. I, I got in trouble. I like, Everybody listen to music. I, I like to tell this story. I got in trouble at a very young age. I got in trouble. And the first thing um, the DAs mentioned was the music we that were that the music that was influencing us back mm -hmm. then they used to they used to convict you you know and say well he was under the influence you know how they say he's under the influence of drugs right. or alcohol well back then they had a, such a saying was they had a they had such a saying as he was under the influence of gangster rap <laughs> Big, yeah, yeah, because they pulled us over one time and Scarface and the Ghetto Boys was playing in the right. speakers as they was arresting us. Yeah. So, yeah, he was under the influence. So they tried to convict us for that. So I know for a fact that people are still thinking the same thing. And it's fact, though. People listen to music and they're influenced by some of the things they listen to. Definitely. Definitely. And like I said, everybody listens to music, no matter what genre. Uh, if, it's, if it's no, if it's just... If it's just instrumentation playing, just natural instrumentation or waves of the water running while they're going to sleep. They listen to some type of uh, melody, some type of tune that helps relax them, that helps calm them down, whatever it may be. But Bef definitely. We're going to continue this interview, but I'm going to shut one live recording off. And I want everyone on this recording that I'm on to make sure you tune in to Real Talk 100 Radio. Just go to the link in our bio. Go to the link in our bio and listen in. You're listening right now. Listen, listen, go to the link in our bio on Real Talk 100 Radio. Click the link in our bio. Listen to the interview just like you're listening to us now. We are with Bari. Y'all go check Bari out. I put his link to his page into our comments. Yes, sir, it is good. spelled B X R I. That is B X R I. Y'all go check his music out. I posted a video of him a few minutes ago. We are about to get into this interview right now. He's already introduced himself, but I'm going to have him do it again right now. Bari, introduce yourself to our listeners.